So in this bowl, we have um, about 500 grams of um, boiled and riced potatoes. Okay, so next we're gonna add our eggs. The eggs are gonna be um, a binder for it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to just mix your three egg yolks directly into the potato mixture and you want it to incorporate fully. So in this bowl, I have all of my dry ingredients. So I have my half a cup of cake meal, my half a cup of potato starch. Those are the replacements for um, the flour. Um, and then I have salt, um, some Parmesan and a little bit of nutmeg because that's the classic Italian portion that's coming in here. What I'm going to do is just incorporate it little by little just until it's fully, fully incorporated. So we're going to mix, incorporate little by little. Here is the finished dough. You want to make sure that when you're that when you're mixing it, you're not leaving any flour at the bottom because like, like a baking recipe, kind of like every little bit counts. You can take your, your dough ball. What you'll do is you'll cut a little piece off and roll it into a long snake. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. I like mine to be a little bit small. You can cut them a little bit bigger. You put the tips just on the, the bottom of the board and you roll your thumb. So when you're cooking your gnocchis, this goes the same for Passover gnocchis and for, for regular gnocchis. A lot of people think that when you cook them, when they float to the top, they're ready. It's really not the case. So once they float, I usually wait another 30 to 40 seconds. At that point, I know that they're cooked. You can also taste them after they float. You'll notice that inside that they're going to be a little bit gummy. So you want to wait for them to be super, super fluffy. This is just a basic, um, basic sauce. I used um, canned Italian tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, chili peppers, and I let them simmer for about two to three hours, just like this. You can do it in smaller quantities and it obviously won't take that long. Um, but yeah, just at the end, once it was ready, till it was like as thick as I like it, you can make it either as, like, as thin or as thick as you want. There you go, enjoy. Does everyone want to cook there separately or you guys want to put them all together?